Right, we are live. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. We are back for another match of the Sevens at the Commonwealth Games. This one, it will be the first match for New Zealand and also the first match for Sri Lanka. Although New Zealand, they have been to the Commonwealth Games before Sri Lanka. This is a golden opportunity to show the world what they have got. They are a very new side to the Sevens, but I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how they do end up going against the defending gold medalists. We have to wait and see. Who does manage to get the win? But do let me know your score predictions in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We've just seen a cracking matchup between Kenya and Uganda, in which Kenya were able to win at 27 points to 14. That will put them into second in Pool D as Australia. They were able to get themselves a very nice win over Jamaica just a little bit ago. But this will be the third men's match that has taken place. We are going to be covering about four or five in a row here for the men's sevens matchups. It's going to be absolutely awesome. See who does manage to get themselves over the line for New Zealand in this game. It's all about finding that form that they had in the Oceania 7s. You want to make sure that you're doing all the basics right in this game so that you go on to your game in about nine hours' time. They are actually going to be playing Samoa, and they will certainly bring that physicality. But the captain of the Sri Lankan side, I believe they are just about to announce their side here for this next match. So what we will do is we will quickly take a photo of it so I can let you guys know exactly who is going to be in the starting line. It's for, for New Zealand. They've got a good combination of the younger players and those veteran guys, such as Scott Curry, Sam Dixon, Naroni McGarvey Black. They've been around for a long time, and they will be making sure that they do very nicely. They are running out onto the field, but they haven't actually announced who's in the starting lineups yet. There we go. New Zealand starting lineup. They have got Scott Curry, Dylan Collier, Naroni McGarvey Black, Sam Dixon as the captain, Joe Weber, Sione Molia, and one man who disappeared too quickly. Now they are showing the Sri Lankan lineup. Now, like I mentioned, I've never watched a game of Sri Lankan sevens. So because of that, I won't be too great with some of these names, but I do see in the starting lineup, it is going to be Sinaviratine. Hopefully I've pronounced that not too badly. Chandradas is in that starting lineup as well. Ratwate, also the captain, like I mentioned a little bit earlier on, Ashin and Nigel Ratwate in the starting lineup. And then also, and there it is Hitia Rachit Rat. Rachchi, I believe. <laughs> Sorry if I absolutely butchered those names. I do apologize. I will keep you guys informed of the numbers of the players as well. But this game now underway between New Zealand and Sri Lanka. Now, we did see the Sri Lankan women's side play not too long ago up against Australia. They didn't do too badly overall. Unfortunately, they did succumb to defeat by about 50 points, which probably wasn't terrible for Sri Lanka, as they did show that they have got plenty of class, but New Zealand hanging on to this one, 10 metres out from his line, lot, a lot of tongue twisters in there, bro, says Nazi Williams, there certainly is, but the more we see Sri Lanka on the seventh circuit, the easier some of those names will become, but currently hanging on to that ball, Sione Molia, trying to just bulldoze his way through, Dylan Collier, now the vice captain, missed tackled down the wing, unfortunately, from Chandras, now moving up to halfway now, New Zealand, Che Clark, he will be hoping to get a good opportunity throughout this one. He's not in the starting lineup, but he is certainly one to watch out for. Now Scott Curry trying to chase after that one. It's set up beautifully. And Sri Lanka clean up nicely, kicking it downfield. Now New Zealand back to the halfway line. will be trying their absolute best to get points on the board as early as possible. But now Ronnie McGarvey Black, the kicker for the Kiwis. Caleb Tangitao cut out past the Scott Curry. He's got Weber on his outside. Instead decides to just back his base. Offloaded, I think that was Ford to Sam Dixon. They say play on for now which does mean that Caleb Tangitao is taken down. Dixon back across to Curry. There is a gap opening up, trying to stop him. Brilliant effort there from, it was the number six for Sri Lanka, but they do go in there, New Zealand, and they have scored themselves the first try of this contest. And to be fair, it took longer than a lot of people would have uh, would have given Sri Lanka credit for. Make some good tackles throughout those stages. And for me, that offload from Scott Curry. I think it was Ford, and I think they're going upstairs to check this one now, see whether or not it is going to be the try. But I think I said that it was Caleb Tangitao. It is actually Moses Leo. Are the USA playing in this tournament, or uh, do they forget again? Says Gareth. So they are not quite in this competition due to not being in the Commonwealth. Okay, they do count that try, and New Zealand now leading this one 7-0. And also, why does your poll here have Sri Lanka as, or doesn't your poll here have Sri Lanka as a winning option? Purely because of rankings-wise, yes, anything can happen in sevens. But Sri Lanka, as much credit as I want to give them, I don't know whether or not their game up against New Zealand will be the one that they do get themselves a victory. That's not saying that they couldn't get themselves a victory throughout this tournament. Maybe against England, I think, is probably their best bet. But for now, I think New Zealand, they're going to start running rampage. And they have gone through once again. 
And now, now Ronnie McGarvey Black will score himself the try for New Zealand. That is the second of the day for the Kiwis. And I should actually mention it was New Zealand versus Sri Lanka in the women's side of things for the match earlier on. But now Ronnie McGarvey Black, same height as myself. Much better rugby player, though. And he is about to go for this conversion. And thank you for uh, giving a serious answer to my silly questions. He distracted sports in there as well. And how's the Irish? David the mod doing very well, mate. Uh, but yeah, do let me know what one you voted for, Distracted Sports. Did you go 31 plus for the Kiwis there? Oh, my mum is trying to break things, <laughs> including her iPad. <laughs> two, Kiwis in the, in the two Kiwis in the top three of the triathlon, I have been informed. And also the New Zealand women's hockey side managing to get themselves a 14-0 win over the Kenyans. 16-0. A couple more scored. Now, it didn't quite go the 10 metres, but... Sri Lanka decide that they do want to play at it. It was kicked in behind from Sina Viratni. Now McGarvey Black cleans up. See, that's the thing. Now Ronnie McGarvey Black's probably a name that's relatively tricky to say. I closed the ball in protest as I was keen on a draw. This is the of sports. And then a nice fan from Dylan Collier. Now Sri Lanka taking the ball back. And it's looking dangerous here. Nice run from the number 11. It was a little knock on on the ground and the penalty goes the way of the Kiwis, and hello, Donna says that with the mod. She waved. <laughs> <laughs> and now, running down the wing, Sioni Molia. No one's catching him. He is too quick there for Sioni Molia. And that will be the third try of the match for New Zealand. Sri Lanka, though, they had a little bit of a good attack there going forward, I believe. It was, I'm going to try and say this name. I do apologize if I get it wrong. But initially, it was actually quite a nice play from Badhima. Nanayakara Kuda Chishige. Decent play from that man, number 11, as I like to call him. It's quite a tricky name, to be fair. I thought Fijian and Samoan names were tricky to get to roll off the tongue. That one is one that will take a lot of practice. And hey, man, says it was Gareth in the chat as well. Nice try score by Sioni Molia there. Kicked over. The middle from Naroni Magavi Black and the Kiwis now leading 21-0 up against Sri Lanka. Two minutes left. It was a knock-on from Sri Lanka, unfortunately, for them. And now it's back up to Naroni Magavi Black on the halfway line, retreating. So it's to go across the Weber, one of the vice captains of the Kiwis. He's going through. He's getting his pants grabbed, but he wasn't quite able to get him. Unfortunately, it was actually once again that number 11. But Hima Nanayakara Kudachichige. Get him better. But that is a try for Joe Webber. He's actually been everywhere, that number 11, to be fair to him. Is, I could call him Bud. Start of, his, start of his first name. That could be his nickname. I would give him the nickname Bud if I knew him. Seems like a lad. Joe Webber, just a bit too quick, the number 11 for the Kiwis. And hi, brother. Uh, Gareth, hope you're well, says David in there as well. And I should mention we have got plenty of streams coming up later on, ladies and gentlemen. We have got England versus Samoa, South Africa versus Malaysia. Also coming up soon will be Scotland versus Tonga and Fiji versus Zambia. I believe those are all of the ones that we are covering for this first session and then later on in the uh, in the night, whether that is 4.30 a.m. or whether it is 7 a.m., we will also be live on the channel. Bit of contesting there. New Zealand dropping it. Now the number 11, my bud, once again slings it wide. Nicely done by Sri Lanka, but a pace being shown now. I believe that is actually the number 13. Deluxe, I believe is the name. Now going back across. I hope the number 11 scores a try, to be honest. And he's now got the ball in his hands. It's a nice step. Does find the offload once again. Space opening up on the outside for Sri Lanka. He kicks it forward. He's back in the pace. But instead, Scott Curry might be able to cut it off. It sits up. Sri Lanka score. And that is a brilliant try. Ratwate, Ashen Ratwate has been able to score it. That is a famous try for Sri Lanka right now. And brilliantly done. I think I got more hyped for that than <laughs> New Zealand winning the gold medal. But that was brilliantly done. Ratwat, nice ball on his inside. And it sits up beautifully. And try, 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 says David the Mod. There it is indeed, Sri Lanka. They will not be scoreless in this contest. The bounce was favourable for Ashan Ratwat. And that is going to be now halftime in this contest. Sri Lanka sitting 28-5 down. 
Wait. Are they taking it? No, they're not taking it back. Okay, I thought for a second they were going upstairs, and I was like, you just just give it to them. <laughs> Don't take it back. But it's half time, and they scored 28 points to five. Good one, Sri Lanka. There's that Nazi Williams there as well. Yeah, very nice try. Actually, best try of the day, to be fair. The way the ball bounced up, it's had up beautifully. And Ashan Ratwate was able to score it for Sri Lanka. So half time, 28 5. New Zealand, they've had four different try scorers Scott Curry, now Ronnie McGarvey Black, Joe Weber, and Sioni Molia as the last one who was able to score the try for the Kiwis. They will be looking for at least four more in the second half, build momentum heading into their game that they have got coming up up against Samoa. The next game for Sri Lanka, it will actually be up against England. And that will be an intriguing contest as well. But I'm hoping to follow along with a majority of Sri Lanka's games in this competition. I feel like it would be very useful for learning how to say some of these names. And I was like, when are we doing a collab champ? Says Distracted Sports. Hopefully very soon, either before or just after that first South African Test match. Although if it's before, I should probably get organized, shouldn't I, and find a good video idea for us to be able to do. Uh, but yeah, it could be... We've got quite a few ideas, to be fair. I've got a list of things that I've thought of that I will have to try and pitch you at some stage. Probably after the weekend, after Commonwealth Games, Sevens is all done. But Che Clark, he hasn't had an opportunity yet, Che Clark, but I don't think he'll be too far off for the second half of this one. And also we've got that Chanel in there as well. Says, uh, I think Shana, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And also Sudan. Or Sutton has got that beautiful try. Sri Lanka got him gone. And also, why am I watching Sri Lanka play sevens? Says Stephen. I mean, it's a whole new side, which is absolutely awesome to see in the world of sevens. I don't think they're even taking part in the Challenger series that is coming up in Adul. Says uh, Raviksha in there. And Kalipoko says Asala. Uh, but it's kicked off by now. Ronnie McGarvey Black only just goes the 10 meters. Big contact there, Sam Dixon. And also, it's a knock-on from New Zealand. We will see the first scrum of this contest. It's taken till the second half. How many teams will participate in the Rugby Sevens, says Davida. So there are 16 sides. The top two from each pool make their way through to the next stage of the competition, which is the quarterfinals. But the good news is these lower sides, if you miss out, you still get to play because they actually go from first to 16th in the rankings. So everyone gets the opportunity to be able to play multiple and also, the idea is I try to engage you in every rugby controversy possible. Says Distracted Sports there. And one Tyler uh, and also Nani. Says Asala now. Che Clark holds on to this one. In fact, no, sorry, it's Moses Leo looking for the offload. Possibly no. Now he does point it to Dylan Collier. Ball on the outside, 22 metres out. Sri Lanka's defence is looking solid. Send of the Kiwis backwards. It was loose for a second, but New Zealand now the sling and wide pass. Now Ronnie McGarvey Black. Off to Curry now, Joe Weber. Down the wing, it was the number 11, Bud. Wasn't quite able to keep it in the hands of Sri Lanka too long in the second half. So far, almost stolen. But now, running up the middle of the field, Naroni McGarvey Black will be too fast. And it is another try for New Zealand. A well-played Sri Lanka, says Ravishka. Yeah, they have been looking very good throughout this game. And the thing is, they have not had this kind of opportunity before. And it just shows that Sri Lanka... Give them five years and the funding, and they could certainly be going not too badly. We have seen teams do way worse against New Zealand than this. And, yeah, they have actually impressed me. Definitely that try. That try was a beautiful one. And it will be Fiji versus New Zealand at the final game. Says Davida, and, yeah, it would be a massive one if that is the case. Although there are a few other top contenders, South Africa, Australia, Samoa. A few sides, Tosaviti, says Asaf there. As well, but they are talking about the fact that there are actually a couple Kiwis swimming coming up relatively soon for New Zealand. They also were able to beat Kenya in the hockey, and Mum said in the bowls they have actually guaranteed a medal for the Kiwis, whether it is gold or silver. We'll have to wait and see. Nice bit of anticipation there. I believe it was Nigel Rawate. Now, nice offload up to Dylan Collier. This will be another try for New Zealand. Maybe fatigue starting set in a little bit more for Sri Lanka, and as Caleb, as Caleb Clark. Just the All Blacks jersey for a shot at a medal against their Stephen Bissett. He is not. It is Shay Clark instead who is there. And also we have got the, all right, I've got to go film. Any advice? Just distract the sports. Do I get to know what the video is? But either way, I mean, if you just pretty much do what you do, I think it's working very well. You get easy, like 10,000 views on a video. I get like 300. <laughs> so keep doing what you're doing. It is certainly working. I'm doing this. I got 289 people. So he's Brandon there as well, but now Collier 
score on the try for the New Zealanders. Now, Ronnie McGarvey Black, the only man who has scored more than one individual try for New Zealand throughout this one. But now, it's about to be kicked off by Akula Rokolisoa. Get us underway. New Zealand sitting 42 points to five. As we currently sit, the ball has gone up. Nicely taken by Sri Lanka. I believe it was Ahapu Chadoge was able to take it beautifully. Sorry if I did mispronounce that as well. The bag shot from Dylan Collier. Going to be the advantage though, and it is actually a penalty for a player not rolling away. Sri Lanka want to take the quick tap and continue playing this game at a frantic pace. Now it's kicked him behind trying that tactic. It worked last time when the ball was favorable to be bouncing. For Sri Lanka, but Moses Leo cleans up that one, and now there will be a ton of space for Moses Leo. Four floats it to Rocco Liso. It was a flat pass. Good chase from Sri Lanka, but they won't quite get him. And Rocco Liso, oh, he almost put it dead and almost ran into that nice lady who was running past as well. And also, I just go up I 389 people on my live stream. There's Brandon there as well. Right, they want to check this one to see whether or not he did step, step dead for Rocco Liso. They are very small areas. You may award the try as the comment. Boy, he's leaving it close, though. And also, the bit is about what makes uh, the ABs uh, versus South Africa rugby relationship so special. Uh, even thought, or uh, even though we've both been bad lately, says Distracted Sports. So, yeah, that would be an interesting video, to be fair. See what you say about both of the sides. I will have to keep an eye out for it. Shay Clark. Oh, sorry, Moses Leo. I keep on saying it's Shay Clark, but he is actually going to be number two for this match. He done by Rocco Lissoi. He was struggling to slow himself down enough to be able to keep in the field of play. I see that Tony Nshu has also made his way out onto the field. It's a knock on from New Zealand. So they have had a few handling errors throughout this first matchup. The next game will be up against Samoa. And you probably can't afford to have too many handling errors in that contest. But three minutes through, New Zealand have got 40, or sorry, three minutes left. New Zealand with a 49 points to five lead. With the next game, England versus Samoa actually coming just around the corner. We will also be covering that one on the channel. So anyone who is new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're covering a majority of the sevens that is coming up and also a few of the other Commonwealth Games sports on the Kiwi Lad Sport as well. A little bit too much movement at scrum time. So Sri Lanka will once again have the feed. Okay. Sri Lanka, they look fired up for this contest, though, which is absolutely awesome to see. As the scoreboard's saying, 46 minutes, it is. It's it's slightly lying. There are only two minutes left, and my draw isn't looking likely, says Distracted Sports. No, unfortunately. But I bet you if we had a poll that was, will Sri Lanka score a try? A lot of people would have put no, but they were able to score, for me, what was the best try of this contest. And it does just show that they have got plenty of potential as well. Big push from New Zealand. It's the penalty Sri Lanka. At scrum time, not what the Kiwis would have been after. Because you aim to win. Uh, but before, what do you say to me yesterday in cricket live stream after I tell you when I do these games? It says Brandon, I think I said, I said good luck, I think. And as um, I played, sorry, just hopped on. Says for Pi, they have not. But they play in the very next contest of the seven. So they are only moments away from their first matchup. And we will be covering that one on the channel as well. Nice back line now for Sri Lanka. Trying to get a little bit... Further down the field, Dylan Collier causing a nuisance. Another penalty to Sri Lanka. So New Zealand's discipline has been struggling a little bit. And I've always said you were a massive Sri Lanka advocate, says Distracted Sports. That's the thing. Yes, it was a Sri Lankan game of cricket that got us a copyright strike, but whole different ballpark for this game. And I love seeing new countries kind of emerging up the seven circuit. Isn't that time we wrap up the Commonwealth Games for good? Says Stephen. And there. I don't know. It seems to be one of those ones that a lot of, wow, that's a big shot. I think that was Caleb Tungy Tao has just tried to break the number seven for, for, number seven silver for Sri Lanka in half. That was a lot of S's involved. And then England beat Sri Lanka by 57 points to nil. Says is out there. Uh, I believe that was the woman's side of things. And it was, was it England who were able to beat Sri Lanka by that many? Or was it New Zealand? England who were able to get themselves a the big victory. But in the men's side of things, that's the thing. I think Sri Lanka have done pretty well in this game up against New Zealand. Sitting 49 points to five against a team who have won Commonwealth gold before, who were second in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, or Tokyo 2021, because it was a bit delayed. Rocco Lisoa now offloaded. Okay, I'm going to have to change what I said there, because now it is going to be 56 
points to five for New Zealand. But my point still stands of they have done pretty well throughout this game. And I look forward to seeing what they do up against England in their next contest, Sri Lanka. Rockley so he just saw the gap round the side. Attack and run. Offloads up into the hands of Sione Mulia, who has been looking strong throughout this contest. And that is actually his second try of the game as well. That one didn't go 10 for the Kiwis. Still five seconds left on the board. And it will be Sri Lanka who have got themselves more than likely the tap. I don't think they'll go for the scrum. Nigel Ratwate offloads it across. And I do see they've actually got shortened names on their back, which I feel like if I learn those shortened names, that will be very useful for the commentary. Brilliantly stolen there on the breakdown by Regan Weir. Now slinging pass from the Kiwis. They want to bring up 60 points in this contest. Now beautiful pass off to Caleb Tangitao. The ankle tap was unsuccessful. And Caleb Tangitao does manage to score the try for the Kiwis. That brings up the 60 points. So they will be winning this game either 61 points to five or 63 to five if this kick does go over. It's the wide cutout pass from Sioni Molia straight to Caleb Tangitao. And once he got that space and got some stride going in the legs, he almost got ankle tap though. It was a decent chase in the end, but New Zealand will get themselves another try in this contest. I should mention the next game that has taken place, it is going to be Samoa versus England, and that will be kicking off very, very soon indeed. But thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be transferring over to our next live stream. I do appreciate you all being here, and I will see you all for the next one.